Do you really need reminding, Venom? I am here to express my regret for the misuse of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. I'm sure most people watching this video have seen that apology. Included in that video are a number of very important statements that now render any innocent explanation that you may make of your recent activities totally untenable. In particular, these statements. A DMCA takedown notice is filed under penalty of perjury, and filing a malicious or knowingly false claim of infringement is a criminal act in the United States. And that the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA for short, is a U.S. copyright law. September, I rationalized that my filing of DMCA notices against Thunderfoot's videos by suggesting that I perceive the purpose of these videos as being solely to humiliate or defame my character. I now understand that this is not an issue of copyright. The undeniable facts are as follows, Venom. Firstly, you have a track record of abusing the DMCA. Secondly, you are in the process of repeating exactly the same thing again, 15 months later. So far as I'm aware, in your latest tranche of DMCA notices, you have served no less than 30, and that figure increases every hour. Thirdly, you cannot possibly argue successfully that you did not know what you are doing is wrong, as what you did 16 months ago, which led to that apology, is identical to what you are doing now. So when you say that you are using the DMCA in order to protect your family, you know that this is a misuse of the DMCA. September, I rationalized that my filing of DMCA notices against Thunderfoot's videos by suggesting that I perceive the purpose of these videos as being solely to humiliate or defame my character. I now understand that this is not an issue of copyright. And you have been stupid enough to make it clear that that is your motive, both in messages to me and also messages to others who have served counter notices on you. Your first message to me I dealt with in the previous video. The next you sent me after I'd posted the video, and it read as follows. Hey, listen up. Do a Google search for Venom Fang X. The first thing that comes up is my YouTube page. The second is an inflammatory page that has my parents' home address and phone number. Yes, your videos are endangering their lives. I have removed all videos that you have ever found offensive, so I kindly ask you, delete videos that continue to incite hatred. If not, you are an evil, evil man. Your videos do encourage hatred, they do endanger my family and me, given the climate on YouTube. Do not be heartless, think for a moment. I pause briefly there to note that even in this sort of message, you cannot stop yourself lying, can you? We both know that the address on that page is not your parents' home address. And then, when YouTube user NeoPrometheus73 served counter notices on you, you sent him the following message. As you are aware, I am removing all content that is inciting hatred towards me to protect my family. As you may or may not be aware, my family has received death threats, prank calls, and other unwanted attention due to the amount of hostility directed towards me on YouTube. Your video videos, in particular, incite a severe amount of hostility, as evident by the comments left in the video log. I quote one person in particular, Who is this guy? Let me know where he lives and I will burn down his house. For the sake of my family, because I love them dearly and so not wish them to be harmed, I did the only thing I could to remove the video, as I am certain asking you to remove it would have been fruitless, seeing as you probably do wish to do me and my family harm. If you want to make this a legal matter, kindly ask yourself, if yourself this, is your video more important than the safety of my family? You may object and say that videos pose no harm, the video itself is harmless, but it is the audience itself that your video continues to spur on that is my concern. I kindly ask you, for the sake of my family, if nothing else, to allow those videos to disappear 
without a fuss. If my request is denied, you will be forfeiting the safety of my family in favour of continuing to endanger me and them, and keep a video online that frankly does nothing but promote hatred. Is that what you stand for? I would like to think better of you, so I will see what you do next. I hope that you do the right thing, and understand that that is why I DMCA'd you. It was because I love my family and will do anything to protect them. Oh my good God, Sean, what a bag of shit. If you would do anything to protect them, you would not be back on YouTube. You fuckwit. Your comment also runs totally contrary to that which you stated in an exchange with another YouTube user who kindly informed you that you may have given away your whereabouts in a recent video. Your response to him? If someone comes to my school to hurt me, let them come. In short, Venom, you are, by your own admission, using the DMCA for reasons other than that for which it was intended, and you are fully aware of what you are doing, and that what you are doing is wrong. I now understand that this is not an issue of copyright. You are also in breach of YouTube's Terms of Service, as well you know, because you will have had to have clicked this box when you submitted your DMCA complaints. You have also probably committed perjury, and you have certainly left yourself open to civil liability as well. So here is a deal, Venom, and it's not negotiable. You have 10 days in which to terminate your YouTube account. If you do so, and remain gone for a year, I will not take any further action. If, however, your account is still up after 10 days, I will inform YouTube of your abuse of the DMCA, as I am sure many others will as well. You will then face the possibility that you will be suspended from YouTube permanently. I will also consider pursuing whatever other legal actions I consider necessary. And, unfortunately, unlike Thunderfoot, I will not accept an apology. You have ten days, Venom, and I'm only being that charitable because I know more about you than you think I do. Further, YouTube states that misrepresentations in a takedown notice is a breach of its terms of service, which can lead to the termination of your account. I accept that I deliberately and repeatedly lied to cover up my wrongdoings, both in emails to Thunderfoot and in my videos. Further, YouTube states that misrepresentations in a takedown notice is a breach of its terms of service, which can lead to the termination of your account.